recognize this routine. This is the jive routine that Veronica gave us. It's really great for working on various actions as well as kicks and getting both sides. So one really key thing to think about is where your hips are going as we do jive. But I'm just gonna start with routine. We can go from there. You're gonna start with your weight on your, your left foot. Your right foot will be free. We're gonna do four sailor shuffles or drunken sailors if you're from Europe, um, England specifically. We have one, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight. Nope, my head mostly stays in the center while my hips move back and forth on either side. From here, I'm going to do two kicks to my right. I'm going to kick forward, kick side, sailor shuffle to change my weight. Then I have the same thing, kick forward, kick side with my left foot, sailor shuffle to change. From here, I'm going to do the hip and knee foot swivels. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna come back, that's what I promise. And then we're gonna do back kicks, down, kick back, down, kick back. And then we're going to change our weight to step back, together, forward. Turn around, five, six, seven, eight. And from here, we repeat the whole thing on the left foot, which I will do facing away from you. So, my left foot is free, starting with my sailor shuffle to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kick forward, kick side, sailor shuffle. Kick forward, kick side, sailor shuffle. One, oh, sorry, not even. From here we go into the toe heels or the soles. One, two, three, four with your left leg. And then we have down, kick back, down, kick back, back, left, together, right, forward, left, unwind. So that is routine in a nutshell. A couple things to note for the fancy knee swivelly things. It looks like I'm flailing my leg around. It doesn't really work if you just flail your leg. The action comes from your hip. So I have the weight on the ball of my foot and I use my hip to swivel, the hip of my standing leg to swivel from side to side. Now just turning my hip almost gets the action all by itself. I will enhance it a little bit by letting my leg be loose so that my toe of my right leg in this case draws something of a figure eight while I move. But the action is coming from Swivel to the left, swivel to the right, swivel to the left, swivel to the right. You can put your heel down in between your weight transfers to give you a little bit more balance. That is totally okay. Don't hold your foot too close to your shin or you will kick yourself. Lesson learned the hard way. Um, you will find that one side is easier than the other. The great thing about this routine, you are forced to practice it both directions. So hopefully, while your good side continues to get better, your bad side also continues to get better so it doesn't get left behind. If you have questions or run into problems, let me know. I'm help, happy to help troubleshoot and figure it out the best I can, virtually. Um, the other thing that I want to note, if this routine is too easy or you get bored or you want to try something else, you can switch up the sailor shuffles. So there are two variations of doing sailor shuffles. You can stay pretty much in place. This is usually what follows will do. Leads can use the sailor shuffle to travel a little bit more. If you want to try both, start with two sailor shuffles in place. One, two. Then the next step, what you're going to do is you're going to collect your free leg, in this case my right leg behind me, and use that to kick my left leg forward. Five, uh, oh. five, uh, six, seven feet forward, uh, so, as my hiccup tells you, it's really easy to lose track of where your feet are going, especially if you stop and think about it too long. So what I tend to think about when I do this is I do a little kick and switch, little kick and switch. The more I get used to the action, the more I can really push myself and I can try to really travel with it. Da, 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 da. But don't jump right into it. It's totally fine to use this as a practice my action pretty much in place until you get the hang of it. So that is something to make it a little bit more challenging if you feel like this is too easy. Um, when you do your kicks, especially your side kicks, as I kick forward, my hip is forward. 
to kick side, I send my hip to the side. When I want to kick back, I open my hip a little bit back to let it happen. Um, think about those things as you practice your exercises. And if you have never done kicks before, make sure your knees are soft, your weight is forward, and you're bouncing on your feet so my heels come off the ground. And if I was to just do kicks, I, could, I would slowly start to move backwards with my little bit of hop. I am making sure that I bring my leg up to kick my butt, release my knee, back up and down. Up, kick my butt, release, back up and down. Your kick has those two actions. The key is to think up first, release, up and down. Don't think kick really hard down, it's gonna slow you down and it's going to be a lot harder to do. So, making sure your action is up and then release and then up and down or my side forward, forward side action, I have up, down, up, down, down and change. And that is all I have to tell you for jive at the moment.